Hello everyone, my name is Keith and I hope you have been enjoying the Lighthouse Bible story so far. Today we're going to be learning about the time Jesus met a man named Zacchaeus. That's a very unusual name, isn't it? Zacchaeus. I wonder can you say it? Let me hear you. Zacchaeus, very good. I wonder can you shout it out really loudly? Let's go again. Zacchaeus, well done. Now this time I'm going to get some helpers to come in and see if we can do it even louder. So come on in my two helpers. Brilliant. Okay, and come on over this way. Brilliant. There we go. And this time we're going to see if we can scare Chris. Okay, so after three, one, two, three. Zacchaeus! Ah, oh, you scared the life out of me. Brilliant! Well done, we certainly gave Chris a big fright, didn't we? That was excellent. Before we start our story, we're going to have a little think about what we have learned in the Lighthouse uh, story so far. One of the things that we've learned is that Jesus has power over sickness, over death, over nature, and he can feed over 5,000 people from just a few pieces of bread and some fish. He's so powerful, he can do things that other people can't do. And we've also learned that God is not just all powerful, but he's also kind and loving. And today we're going to learn that Jesus came into the world to love all people, no matter what they have done. And we can learn that from the time that Jesus met Zacchaeus. What was his name again? Zacchaeus, well done. Before we start the story, however, I have a question for you. If you were rich, I mean really rich, lots and lots of money, richer than your mum or your dad, richer even than Chris or Albert, would you be happy? Lots of people think that money will make them happy, but oftentimes it doesn't. Let's listen to the story of Zacchaeus to find out what made him really happy. Okay, there was once a man who didn't have any friends. Do you have friends? Of course you do. But poor Zacchaeus didn't. He didn't have any. And you're probably wondering why. Was it because he was so short? That's not a reason not to like somebody. Was it because he had a name that was quite hard to say? That's not a reason not to like somebody either. No, people didn't like Zacchaeus because he stole their money. You see, Zacchaeus collected taxes. And taxes were things that money that uh, people had to pay the king. But Zacchaeus took more money than he was supposed to. And he kept the extra money for himself to make himself rich. Everybody knew what he was up to. And it made them cross and grumpy. They didn't like Zacchaeus one little bit. So they made sure he knew it by doing things like avoiding him and walking on the other side of the street and pretending not to see him and whispering things like There's that nobody who thinks he's a somebody. He said it loud enough that he could hear them. Anyway, one day a huge crowd gathered by the road. Jesus was coming to their town and everyone wanted to see him. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus too, but everyone was too tall. He tried jumping up and down But that didn't work. He couldn't see a thing. Luckily, Zacchaeus had a good idea. I'll climb that sycamore tree over there, he said. And he did. From the tree, Zacchaeus had the perfect view all the way down the road. Another minute and suddenly Jesus was at the tree. He stopped and he looked up. Zacchaeus saw Jesus, and Jesus saw Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, Jesus said, I'd like to come over to your house. Zacchaeus almost fell out of the tree. Come over to his house? No one ever wanted to come anywhere near his house, let alone inside it. The other people saw this, and needless to say, it made them even crosser and grumpier than usual. They mumbled and murmured and muttered. Why is Jesus being kind to that big sinner? Doesn't Jesus know anything about him? 
Zacchaeus scrambled down and, looked, and took Jesus to his house. He was in a big hurry because he didn't want Jesus to change his mind. Perhaps Jesus hadn't heard about him. Perhaps Jesus didn't know about how he had been stealing and how no one liked him and how he didn't have any friends. But Jesus did know. He knew all about Zacchaeus and the stealing and everything and he still loved him. Zacchaeus was ashamed. Lord, he said, turning pale, what I've done is wrong. But now I want to do the right thing. I will give the money back to everyone four times what I stole. And that's just what he did. Jesus smiled. My friend, he said, today God has rescued you. Jesus loved Zacchaeus when nobody else did. He was Zacchaeus' friend, even when nobody else was. Because Jesus was showing people what God's love was like, he was showing his wonderful, never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. I think that's a brilliant story. It teaches us so many things about Jesus. The first thing that I learned is that money didn't make Zacchaeus happy. He was rich, he had lots of money already, but when he met Jesus, he realized money wouldn't make him truly happy. Only Jesus would. The second thing that I learned was that Jesus loved Zacchaeus, even though nobody else did. Jesus knew Zacchaeus' name and he even wanted to go to his house. Jesus wanted to be his friend. This teaches us that Jesus loves people no matter who they are or what they have done. The third thing that I learned is that Jesus' love changes us. Zacchaeus wanted to stop sinning because of Jesus' love for him. He had experienced Jesus' love. Zacchaeus realised he had done wrong and he wanted to live God's way now. So he gave back even more money than he stole. The last thing that we learn is that Jesus' is gift, Jesus' love is a gift. And like all gifts, it's completely free. Jesus knows all about us and our sin, and he loves us anyway. And because we know this, we will want to stop sinning, just like Zacchaeus. I've loved learning about Zacchaeus with you today. Thanks very much for listening. Now, get your singing voices ready, because it's time for our next song. Thank you.